Alright, B R E X 6, normal and challenge mode. Let's do this. In challenge mode, you want to use a 6 star pioneer to start off. At least I can't think of any other way to start off the stage. Actually, I did, which is using Texas, but Texas is just way too account specific. Depending on her level, you want to change her deployment time, which will control her skill reactivation time, which takes a lot of trial and error, and I doubt someone that needs to follow a guide would go out their way to do that. So, yeah, took me two hours and finally worked, but ended up being too complicated to be followed as a guide. Just had to restart. Anyways, as I was saying, Siege can be replaced by the Pioneers, which are Saga and Squirrel. Muenar is essential, the others can be replaced by Bedopters you have in the same branch. And bring someone like uh, Silver Ash or Thorns, Ranged Guard in general, to help deal damage because your units are going to be frozen. And speaking of frozen, bring the resist healers like Lumen, Whisper Rain, Pure Stream to uh, grant your units resist. You can also use Nian to grant your units resist. Or Ceylon, Cylon, Ceylon, whatever her name was. The unit that can't trigger her talent because she doesn't know what water is. Anyways, deploy the Pioneer first here, facing right. Once you have enough DP, deploy Myrtle here to prevent leaks. Active Myrtle skill once you can. I'm gonna wait a few seconds for like seven skills and uh, deploy Moenar here once I have enough DP. Deploy Breeze here once I have enough DP. We keep Moenar alive, and as you can see, Myrtle has prevented that leak. Deploy Cruise here once I have enough DP to help deal damage on the enemies from the bottom and once you see those swarms which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 enemies at once, activate Moenar's skill. Moenar's now frozen so we are just gonna wait until his frozen is gone then activate his skill. Don't worry about that guy because that guy will go towards Mo uh, Myrtle. Anyways, activate Moenar's skill when the swarm spawns so that you can kill those two casters. And uh... And now we just deployed medics. Deploy this guy. Deploy. Oh wait, no. Uh, yeah, you want to retreat siege now at 17 kills, and deploy Beagle here because siege is going to be frozen anyways and can't do any damage anymore. So we are going to be relying on crews to deal damage. And on top of that, we want to uh, redeploy Siege. Anyways, but until that guy destroys one roadblock and then activate Munar skill, you want to do this because if you activate it too early, he won't destroy both roadblocks if your Munar is over leveled. And in that case, you don't want that to happen. Yeah. Redeploy Siege here. And for the ranged guard I told you to bring, just to play that guy behind Siege. As you can see right now, Siege is frozen and can't really do any damage. And as I was speaking, she immediately kills all the enemies. And that was awkward. But yeah, she does not do as much damage. Active Muna skill once those casters get into its range. Ideally, Muna does not get frozen. So that's all. Hope this helped. Thanks for watching. And bye. Also, like, this took me longer than expected. I thought it was all smooth sailing since uh, until EX5 it was all very easy. But it always EX6. Uh, last time it was what? The uh, Under Tides EX6. That was also super hard. But yeah. That's all.